Hello friends, today I will show you how to send mail from Outlook. These are the below steps here. Step 1, create one OSP.NET web application project. Open your Visual Studio. Click on create a new project here. Select ASP.NET Web Application.NET Framework, then click on Next, then enter your project name here, then click on Create button. Your project has been created successfully. This is the project name Outlook Email. Then Add one index.html file. Here I have added some text box to email id cc mail id subject and add one text.cs file here. This is the field that binds to the index.html. Then create one API MT controller here. Outlook mail controller I have created. Then create one method. I have create method send mail. Yeah, before that we have to add DLL. Go to project, select manage new web package. And search Outlook here. Yeah, oh, this is the inter of Outlook DLL. I have already installed, so it's showing on install here. Install it, is, install it from here. Then go to your controller. Write the code here. Yeah, here I have using the namespace Microsoft Office that interrupt Outlook and create one object for Outlook that application. This is the mail subject and this is the email body. Here it will be CC email ID. Yeah, if you want to send mail or send any information in a tabular format, then you can use the below code. Yeah, I have created one method for message body here. This is the method. SP dot app and I have taken one string builder. And this is SMTP name we are getting from get user info method. So get I have created one get user info method the, in this method will get the information for of the current user that is i will get the username for uh, first username here and you will append with the first paragraph that is hi and name here i have append hi and the name that return from this method get user info will return first name of the user from this method and i am i am appending here 
yeah this is the first paragraph then second paragraph i have written here please find below details you have entered and in the third paragraph i have I have entered information in a tabular format. Then that's why I'm using table here. Table and TRTD in the what the style you need, you can mention here. And then at last we have mentioned the thanks and triggers part. And then again the username. And using get current user information, I have created one method here. This is the get current user info. Here I will get the user information like first name, last name, and designation, and all these things you can get here using the current user. Now I will run the application here. Yeah, we are getting this in the HTML page. You have to enter your email ID. Two email ID and CC email ID and the subject what you want. I have entered test. Yeah, then click on submit then it will it will show the message successfully sent mail now check your mailbox yeah this is the message this is the email i received this is the test body we have given and this is the subject we have entered and i think one thing we missed here we didn't get any information field yeah before we haven't used this method so that's why we didn't get any information field call this call this method and pass the test as a parameter here then again run your application yeah enter the information here mail id email body information one two three anything enter here and click on submit Yeah, receive this mail. Yeah, this is the method body information subject. Yeah, thanks for watching. Actually, I have shared all the code in description below. Please find if any suggestion, please comment below. Thank you.